Listen, pleasant good evening. It is another Sunday, which means it is your favorite Sunday drummer, Dre, aka the Carnival Ref, for another edition of the Carnival Ref Live. Joining me are two versatile, wicked artists. One goes by the name of Tedison John, aka TJ, all the way from the beautiful island of St. Lucia. And then um, I made a call to um, the whining queen, Denise Sosiwao Belfon, who I think she's getting ready. So she's going to jump in at some point in time. As soon as she's ready, I'm going to bring her on in. So without further ado, let's, um, let's run the reel. They call me TJ. <laughs> But then again, they call me Tedison John. If you're from St. Lucia, put your two hands in the air. Welcome to my land, nothing. Everybody get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Everybody. Ale, 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 ale. It's time to get up and start moving. Ale, 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 ale. I am on a mile. Tedison John, uh, a love of music, just somebody who wants to, to sing, just somebody who wants to, to use his talent and, 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 and represent where he's from. Where is he from? <laughs> Welcome to the show, Hello. TJ. I first knew you as TJ, then Tedison John, and I'll just Teddy. <laughs> yeah, it is. I I see you wrap up a, a you rack up one of these things when I used to have my my goatee does a long time, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that video that was it. Your your video shot. I think two thousand and three or thirteen. Nah, thirteen. That's, that's probably thirteen because that's the first time I started my um, own concert. So I think that was something. Two thousand and thirteen. Yeah. Yeah, because I was doing some 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 background again, and you know basically. Your transformation, or your introduction, or your your baptism into soca music was around two thousand and seven, huh? Two thousand and seven, yeah. Two thousand and seven, yeah. And funny enough, I, I make this joke now on this show all the time. Nearly, I want to say ninety five percent of the artists that are in soca, oh no, I want to ninety five. It was less than ninety five, but they they got started somewhere in church or gospel. Yeah. Yeah, and then from there, if it wasn't that, then it was the introduction into some form of a soccer competition, like a junior soccer monarch while in school, yeah. primary school. Yeah. And then yeah. from Scalypso, boom, they hit college days or so, and and then soccer music. Yeah. My... And so, yo, tell us about you. Your your strong gospel. Well, I I I I you know everybody was was you know I think everybody have a little bit of church in them. They were raised some way, shape, or form, you know. Um, but, um, mine was, was, was R&B, mine was gospel, mine was, um, jazz, the French, like the French side, embracing that French side right. of jazz, um, and then got introduced into soca music, um, in 2007 by Penn and Ace of Studio right. 758, and, and then from there, they, they basically mama guy me into the whole thing eh, because I didn't want to do it. <laughs> they didn't want to do it. And they so told did you, me, you, you know, want to look at that that carnival and soccer was to the devil? Yeah, yeah, I was like, I didn't want to, I didn't want to, I, I love the rhythm. And I was like, fellas, I have something, you know, I didn't really want to do it. So they're like, okay, tell you, well, I was like, okay, I'll record it and y'all can give it to somebody, you know? <laughs> yeah. And then yeah. um, I went in and when they heard what you know they're like okay guys let's try the thing they, they beg we record you know and two shake and a break i hear the stuff playing on radio and dj's pulling that like it's crazy wow and then again i hear i end up in a in a in a tent in a soca tent you know yeah like a kind of yeah. soca tent and then two shake and a break again a groovy mona competition with all the big dogs and and you know i ended up winning <laughs> so but the thing is though you weren't you weren't new to entertainment though right you were i wasn't you, I wasn't new you to wasn't scared to get a stage it was just yeah. soccer was just a new market mm -hmm. 
So you went into the groovy with full confidence. Yeah, I went into the groovy with full confidence because before I used to do a lot of, um, I did a lot of cabaret shows. Um, I did cruise ships before. I did um, hotel, you know, before. Um, I did jazz stages before. I had an opportunity to open up for a lot of, you know, yeah. beautiful names. In the she industry. stated Wyclef. <laughs> yeah, Wy yeah, Wyclef, Trey Songs, Neo, S Supply, Rufa Vandross, Patti LaBelle. We had a couple of, you know, names in there that we used to open for. Um, the last major one I was a part of... Um, a group called the Men of Soul for the St. Lucia Jazz Festival. And you had um, Jeffrey Osborne, James Ingram, Freddie Jackson, B.B. Winans, you wow. know, my, myself. And we were backed up by George Duke, you know. So um, I had my experience in that field before, but it's only when I came into Soka, everybody like really got to know A, you know. Yeah, you guy well, on the block. As you're saying this, what's running thoughts running through my mind is you have a lot of soccer artists that are in the soccer game that touch the thing, but all it, their goal really is to become as international as possible, right? Mm -hmm. So every soccer artist tries, you know, if they could, they could do a collab with anybody on an international level, mm -hmm. they would. And here you are already touching the stage with a lot of international artists. Mm -hmm. All the names you call, you know, the Neos and the White Clefts. Yeah, yeah. You're already in that arena doing the jazz mix R and B business. Yeah. And here you are now telling yourself, I want to do I'm gonna get into the soccer game. I'm gonna do the soccer thing. And yeah. now you're already known as a soccer artist today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How, do you feel as if it was a I mean, run that through me because I'm thinking you want a track where most artists probably would like to go and you kind of reverse it and then went back <laughs> into a world um, where artists are now saying, why Teddy come and join us? <laughs> um, um, the, 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 the truth is, I, I from the time I dabbled into Soka, I really, I ended up, you know, liking the vibe. I, I love the vibe. I love the energy of the vibe. You know, these artists, we, we um, created, we created connections and we try to keep connections and we try to, you know, meet these people and, 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 and link up. But I don't know if I was probably in that stage where I was probably ready yet because, you know, I was still dabbling in different things. While I'm doing this, I'm still working, you know, at yeah. a hotel resort or doing these things. The, 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 the truth is I had, I had opportunities to, to be on those, you know, stages. You know, some of the, around that time, some of the, the artists, you keep their connections, others, you know, some, some of them can be different. Some of them can just come do their thing and when they leave, go, you know, not get it. You understand? So there was a lot in there um, that basically helped me. But um, it was just me wanting to do music, you know. It, it, it was just me wanting to do music, me wanting to to be a part of music. And, and, and I loved what Soka was, you know. Yeah. Man. And and so since you've gotten involved in soccer, there was kind of no looking back, eh? Yeah, that, that Are you still? There was a no looking back. Yeah, but you still, when they sing with the jazz and all that stuff, you go and you do your jazz thing still, or now you kind of give them a soccer blend? I used to give them, it changed from me giving them a soccer blend, you know, of, of, of things. Um, 2010 was when um, my actual, I became probably like a, a, a product or the the brand you know yeah. um so my band tj the the, the tedison john project or the tj project was formed you know and then um that was the year that we opened up for i think it was neo we opened up for neo right um, there's a, an, another year that um i brought the veil to my set i brought kes to my set that's when we opened up um umi Umi opened up, um, cheerleader, the guy. Yeah, yeah. Leader. And then Shaggy closed, and Shaggy brought on popcorn as a surprise. You know, Kess and Deville were mine. Um, from there, our sets more used to be um, used to be more soca, you yeah. know, sets with, uh, infusion of the music, but more a soca, a, a, a soca set. Yeah. Wow. Do you um? 
when you mix with these guys and now you're doing Isoka, I don't know, do you have a lot of time with them besides just the show or to able to for them to say, yo, like Teddy, how do we get involved more? And some some of them, some of them you do, some of them you don't because they got their entourages, they got their securities, they got their, you know, they got their egos, they got everything that comes with it. Right. You know? There was a there was a year, I think the year Patty LaBelle came to do what she did and some other people came to do what they did. They came in, got on the stage, did what they did, and got back to the vehicle and head out. When right. when R. Kelly came in, you know, the plane was the plane was still running on the airport. <laughs> you understand? So he came in, he did his set, you understand, and left. So a lot of people don't really stay back to, to chill out and relax where you can probably get to know them. You understand? So yeah. I took it for what it is, you know. We didn't, we didn't bug anybody. We didn't, you know, we didn't. You understand? We we we, we didn't do try to, you know. Hey, that's what it is, you know. Hopefully yeah. they got they got to see the vibe and see me. But when I got to be a part of the the Men of Soul, I remember um, the late James Ingram, and what he told me when he told me when they introduced us. And I told him, I'm trying to do what you're doing, you know. He was like, don't say you're trying. You're doing it because you're here with us, you know. Mm. Yeah, and, and and when we were on stage, I think there's a clip of that in 2009. If you look at 2009, yeah. Jazz, you're going to see all of us on stage just mashing up the place together. It was wicked. Crazy. But we had some good ones. We had some good ones and we had some ego ones. So that's how yeah. the thing I, um, I don't really name drop, so I don't call your name. But I mean, today, now that I'm talking to you, when a lot of artists from different islands outside of Trinidad who, you know, we're doing interviews and we're talking about breaking into the soccer business, there's a case study and you happen to be my case study. And I'll tell them this. I say, listen, if you formulate a plan of action and you set out and you know what you want to do, you can achieve that, but you have to set the plan and you have to execute the plan. Yeah, and I remember. I mean, I want to say before I want it was a year before Ale, yeah, 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 yeah. And you said, you know, we was talking, and I know I wasn't the one you were talking to, but you know, you said, Dre, I really want to come and make a wave and penetrate in the TNT market. I remember that. I remember, how you know, I, I'm doing, I already have, you know, already doing good things in St. Lucia, but I would like to expand out and from Trinidad, just work my circuit, way out through the circuit. And here we are, how many years later? What year was that? Ale was 2000 and what? 2016. 2016 16, yeah wow so four years later yeah and and i tell people i'm like this and i don't use your name and i said this artist executed that plan so well where now they are considered an international soccer recording artist yeah. in a soccer game yeah and they then every almost every carnival or every soccer event that i know of yeah from from being totally uh r b gospel jazz yeah. Yeah, and so if you had to give advice to people that are trying to do the same thing that you did, what what is the what are the steps that you can say? You know, I know there's no quick way, but they could they could probably be, uh, hey guys, here's what you really need to do, and not be us around the woods. You know, I, I I think a couple of things. I would tell them I would tell them don't give up, even if sometimes the, the circumstances, you know, make you want to. Yeah, you understand. Um, yeah. And I would say your attitude is everything. The kind of person you are, the the vibe that because the let's be real, there's been there's been okay. This 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 soccer game is a game where, um, okay, you've seen a lot of people come out with a, a heavy song for one year, and the next year, you know, they they you understand they suck in salt, and it's yeah. Rough. And some of the some of the the reasons is why when you have that song. You know, the way that ego, you have that song plus a huge ego, you know, your attitude changed to a lot of people, you know, that kind of vibe. So for me, um, everybody has known me. Everybody known Teddy. Everybody know how Teddy is. You know what I mean? Everybody know how Teddy is. Everybody know how I am. Everybody know my vibe. Anybody, everybody know my energy. So apart from giving the music, you know, and pushing and and just opening my network i'm good with i'm basically good with everybody you right. know you don't have to be good with me 
but I'm good with you, <laughs> you know? So I show everybody love. And and that's what I think has helped me um, to still be here, you know? Right. Dignity. So you said, you said number one, because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get source you out, source it out here. So when you see me look down and I ignore yeah, you, yeah, I'm trying yeah, to get yeah, Denise yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. Um, you said number one was stay persistent, don't give up, right? Yeah, stay persistent. And then number two was up. create strong networks. Strong networks. And and then your 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 attitude, your humility, you know, you, yeah. your vibe as a person. So that's what I could say for me. So you know, that's what worked for me. Right, but they they still have to be, they still have to be more of a, a tactical plan. Yeah. Right. So yeah. we have a lot of artists who are very personable and nice, and everybody love them, and they still can't get to where they want to go. But all I'm saying is that if 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 yeah you can you can say that but I think somebody somebody will will see when you're real or not eh you understand yeah. somebody will see when you're real or not and that is just the truth and I think your realness and how you are as a person will open up avenues you understand for you right. your work has to be your your work ethic has to be there the quality of your work has to be there but I just have a feeling that the way you are as an individual will open up, you know, will open up doors and open up things for you. Cause I've, I've been, I've been fortunate to, to have a, a, a proper network, proper network with everybody, DJs, um, proper network with bands, you know, yeah. reason people like, okay, you have blacks and, and the all stars. And for me, for me to be in the front line, you know, in, in the, in the, in the all stars from St. Lucia, that ain't happening just so, you know. What I mean? It's not just so you get a, a Tuesday on the rocks, you know, slot in Trinidad, you know, for yeah. five to fifty minutes. That True ain't that. happening like that. So I I believe if I believe it's a marriage of of both, you know, how consistent you are, the quality of your work, you as an individual, the vibe that you give out, your aura, your kind of vibe. You understand because you can have yeah. nice people, but then they ain't really, you know, the, the the quality of what they do is not really up, you know. But a lot right. of people, a lot of people gave me opportunities and allowed me to, you know, work with them and be beside them. That gave me a little boost of energy and boost of confidence. I mean, I had people like people like Kerwin Dubois. Kerwin didn't need anything from me. You know, and and that's when Kerwin just came off too real, and Kerwin is a is a, is a soca genius by himself. He didn't need anything, but Kerwin allowed me to sit in studio with him and produce. I got to produce Magnetic. I got to produce Aragon, co-produce Aragon. I got to produce the Haze Rhythm. You know, I got so I learn from different people. My energy, my vibe is just different. So it, you know, it it the people that do it in different ways. The people that just you know, look for different things. Tell me, I, I totally agree. And as you're talking, I'm thinking, what is your, what would you say is the difference between performing in St. Lucia, say, with other artists versus performing in Trinidad with a Trinidadian artist or Trinidadian band, like Blacks, like the Casas and them? What is the difference for you? Um, ho home is always home. Um, the difference for me is that I can probably do much more songs in St. Lucia because St. Lucia probably knows, you know, a lot yeah. more. A lot of people basically got to know me from Ali, you know, right. but I have years of, of before music, that, you know, before that. So that the advantage for me is being able to perform more music. Like my concert in St. Lucia is like, you know, over two and a half hours, you know, of, of, of music, you know. And and it's it's a long it's a long Teddy repertoire, you understand? And and yeah. with, with a lot of you know Saint Lucian classics in there. But compared to Trinidad, where I would basically do from Ali, you know, till Got it. till present. So is is that one of the classic cases of there's no place like home? If you have a you perform yeah. at home is obviously best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I still find with, with Trinidad, Trinidad has accepted me, you know, and I feel a vibe and a, and a warm energy in Trinidad for the past, you know, four to five years since I've been going there. And Trinidad yeah. was a, Trinidad is a very, uh, it was scary for me because 
Trini, Trinidadians tell you what's on their mind. They tell you as it is. If you suck, they tell you go back with that. You know, and right. and I and I didn't have that. Christians will do the same thing though. Yeah, if we you suck into shit, it won't pelt toilet paper on stage. Now we are pelting toilet paper. I doubt we are go pelt a toilet paper. I think we go pelt a toilet paper. But I think it, it was one of these places where I had to condition my mind. And and what happened is that you know I I was able to do it and still be there and everywhere I go. All the stages that I got afforded the opportunity to perform on, everybody gravitated to me and just vibe with me. So the kind of energy that I got, I gave back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. All right. When we, you were one of our, well, one of the first of three guests on episode one of my show where this is like the 17th show I'm doing. I wasn't prepared. A lot of things was offbeat. Um, and, you know, we were talking about your project back then, which is the project that you released last weekend. Yes. Sunday, right? A week from today. So yes, it's a week Sunday. now. You saw it? Caribbean Moscato. You saw it? Of course I did. <laughs> of course. And and I, I aired a piece of it, and, and I didn't want to show the whole thing, but I can't air the whole thing, but I, I, I chose Vent because that's one of my favorite songs of yours. Yeah. And at the end of the show, I'm going to air that, you know, to close the show. Yeah. Um, but talk to us. I mean, talk to people who are only live and who hasn't seen it. What what why they need to watch it and let them know. I, let them know I, about the whole from the creation to the delivery. I want to know what did you think when you saw it? I compared, you know what, compared I, to what I was telling you about before. Yeah. What, when you saw it, what did you think? So I felt that Teddy from the jazz days in a solution type of jazz setting where you were just being, giving us something that's just raw and real, you know, without too much extra. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And, and that's what I dug. So it was just, hey, let me sing with you and I have some people around, they're playing some percussions and you'll enjoy the music as the music. Yeah. And and, and weird enough, you know, Kess, Kess the band did something very similar. Yeah, yeah. Kess did, um, Kess did um, live his, his it, it, it was, it's two live albums. Um, one which is totally acoustic, and then the other one, you know, you have, you know, your drums and you know, yeah. playing and different things like that. But you know, it, it's 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 two live albums, one acoustic and one not. But okay. pick up my brother same time. Right, and yours is, is mine is to, to, totally acoustic, strictly yeah. strictly acoustic. Um, the project. The project came in, in in when we just wanted to do something. We just wanted to to to, to do something. Um, I remember we started working on that from last year. Wow. And, um, so you've been doing you've been on this project before COVID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We 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 we, we doubled in it. I called my guys. I was like, guys, let, let's come together. We're gonna put, you know, we're gonna do at least one or two songs, you know, just to put up on Instagram and you know, yeah. Bible, just create content and do what we're doing. <laughs> Um, and then also we did um, we did X Games by Private Ryan. Now that is before that is before this song actually came out. Now Ryan actually went ahead and put X Games on his social media, and then that blew up. So people was like, "Whoa!" Like, okay, we added the guitar and, and you know all that kind of vibe. And so I was like, "Okay, I'm seeing people really getting excited about it." And I think what what so X Games was a part of this project from before, and then yeah, would... X Games was a part of the the, the, the project. Um, right. But what what got me what got me to, to to really go in is that when we were going, you remember Uber Soka last year, um, when we were on the bus from Miami going over to Orlando, when all of us had to get in on the buses to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. To take the somebody, buses from. Yes, yeah. yes. Somebody somebody tagged me. And they said, they tagged me in a post, like they took the audio, right? They took the audio and they tagged me in a post and they said, um, listening to the acoustic sounds of Terrence and John. And that struck something with me. And I, I said, okay, we have something here. Right. When we came back from Uber, you understand, in November, we started, I came in, I told the guys, guys, listen, we're doing what we had to do. We started recording. 11 songs you understand wow. we started and it was just it, it 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 then we had a break because there was trinidad carnival you know 
And then when the whole COVID thing came in, you know, it, it literally brought all of us together, closer together. And we were trying to give each other strength because there was just so much uncertainty and there still is. But still is. We, yeah, we were trying to just be each other's strength man, and get in studio and do stuff. So we didn't have any negativity from anybody when I told them that's what we want to do. Everybody was up for it. You know, we, we came to these sessions. We took a break for lunch. You know, we went on the beach, chill out, relax, come back in and we just creative, you know. And while we went on, it's like a domino effect. One thing went to the other. One thing like, you know, everything yeah. went and opened up. So it, it ended up being this this production, you know, that that it was not supposed to be really, but we love what happened, you know, with it. And then some of the features, um, we had strictly St. Lucian, you know, artists, on there because there's something called um the feast of musicians St. cecilia's day which is where you celebrate the musician that's on the okay. 22nd of, of 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 this month that was last week sunday so we figured that um if it's a uh it, it's only right that we um release the album you know a live album as we celebrate you know musicians but it's it, it was just me wanting to have a, a different conversation to what people knew me for. Um, I felt I, I I was able to go back and sort of like show where I came from. You understand? Um, just like you said, you know, you, you went back and, and so, so people was like, it's like a full circle. So in case you didn't know yeah. what we, you know, what we, this is where I came from. Yeah. You know? and, and the name Caribbean Moscato um, came from my manager, Darwin. Um, he was like, I was supposed to call the album influences or differences or something like that but right. the truth is um the reason why there was so many different influences to my music and where i came from darwin was like he let a young girl listen he let a young lady listen to um the album and um she was like you know you can actually chill out with a nice glass of moscato, moscato. and just relax and listen you know to it and and then yeah. that's where Caribbean Moscato came from. Nice. The Caribbean is all the influences that I've been through or that I've been a part of, you know, in a glass of <laughs> Moscato. Wow. All right. Yeah. So has the, I want like from two aspects, has the album one, how has it been received as far as people loving the project? And two, Man. yeah, I'll, I'll, let's talk about that first. So as we've been getting a man, bro, this is my bro. Moment. I, bro, I, 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 I just get Terry. I sometimes, you know, <laughs> watching the comments because this was one project that I was nervous about because it's a totally different kind of project. It's not a, you know, jump and wave and bagarang and, you know, it's none of that. It's, no. it's a different thing. So yeah. I was totally blown away when I started to see the, 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 the results and what people were you know, telling me. You yeah. know, like they got, they got, it, it's like a therapy kind of album. It's like a healing kind of album. It's a, a feel good kind of album. Everybody was really, you know, the only comment that we got, the only, only negative comment that we got that it was too short. Really? Only negative. It and, was and, too and, short. Yeah. And it knows it's weird because last week, Sunday, your show was like literally hour before this show. Yeah. And while I was getting ready, I was watching your show. And at quarter two, like around 40, the 45 minute mark, you started to wrap up. And I'm thinking, yep. wait, I was yep. like, Teddy helping, Teddy, like Teddy helping me. Like Teddy wants to say, all right, guys, I'm wrapping up because you gotta go yep. <laughs> and do other things. And I, I said, but I thought I expected a solid hour at least. Yeah. So you're right. Yeah. But we 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 just wanted you you know the 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 attention span of people. We we rather give you a little taste of it. We didn't do all the songs on the album. We right. gave you a little taste of it and then we sent everybody to go get it because while we were performing, the album was released, you know, at the same okay. time. You right. understand? Yeah. So then everybody basically, when they came from um, watching the show, they just went straight to, to get the album. And a lot of people have been tagging me and, and just letting us know that, that the response has been overwhelming. I'm just grateful, you know, to be able to do a body of work like this and then to be able to touch people like this, you know? Yeah. So, which leads to the second question. Um, so, people, I mean, it's key, and people have realized that, even with myself, or most creators, mm -hmm. a lot of times, we don't 
I, I don't do a lot of things for money. Yeah. I do it for the love of what yeah, I yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And which means I might be walking down the street either in Trini or anywhere in the world. And if yeah. someone stops me and say, yo, I appreciate what you do. Yeah. And because of you, X, Y, Z, or I'm that here in this carnival, or I love what you do, brother. Like those little things mean a lot to me and it keeps me going. Well, you're talking to somebody the same. You're yeah. talking to somebody the same. Um, When we see, that's one of the reasons why I cannot stop what I am doing or my contribution. Yeah. Because when, when you understand what people go through and they, they take, you know, strength from yeah. something that you did, you realize yeah. how much your, your role is. Yeah. So for me, a lot of these songs even chosen on the album was really, it was like healing. Some of these right. songs, you know, you, you tunes like it is I leave. Yeah, you know? and real sick. Hey, um, just to stop it, Denise. I see you in the back there, so I'm oh, gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna bring you in a little bit. So that's yeah. all tight, Denise. I've seen you. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. So it, it 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 a lot of the just to know you can can touch somebody with your music and your vibe and your energy and your your you know it, yeah. it makes you feel it makes you feel. So I, I appreciate everybody, man. And yeah, and I'm saying that because I want people to not think when they do say things that are positive that we yeah. don't it doesn't mean anything it means a lot and a lot. but yeah and, and then it leads to the second part which was the problem the conversation that's happened with problem child was yes we want the you know we want the forward and your well done teddy and claps and, uh, and pat yeah. on the back but at the same time we put in a lot of time and energy into these projects because this yeah. is what we do for a living course, so yeah. it also it means a lot to us for you to also turn around yeah. and buy or support yeah. Yeah. And push the movement so then you can pay the bills and pay the people yeah. who are helping out on the project and the band and the, yeah. <laughs> you know, the background singers. Yeah. Uh, how did that, how does, how has, how has, since the release a week ago, how has that been in terms of sales? Um, and what, what we've been trying to do is, is change the mentality of, of the soca fraternity. Right. You understand? Change the, we want to, we want to get, um, we want to get new people. You get new people and introduce new people to you. But the people yeah. that you're accustomed of knowing, you change the mentality. Somebody say, can you please let me know where I can get the album? The yeah. album is on every single digital platform right now. The Tennyson John Project, you can get it on Tidal, Apple, iTunes. You understand? Buy it on iTunes. You can stream it, all that kind of stuff. But we prefer you buy it, eh? Because the streaming, you know how it is. Yes, I prefer you, you do that. But I think the conversation is changing everybody's men mindset, especially the Soka fertility when it comes to to buying because in reggae we don't have that problem we don't have that problem in hip-hop we don't have that you know right that kind of vibe but we are custom because it's carnival we normally get these songs you know it's blast yeah. out on a julian promo or you know the djs have everything so you basically get everything for you know for for for, for free um and and we we don't really put out bodies of work and and you know for people to actually be able to to, to 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 go and buy um we want to be able to be recognized as a as a as a category in in yeah. you know on itunes and the grammys but the truth is they're not going to move a muscle until they start seeing numbers until they start seeing data yeah you know i feel as if teddy i feel as if i need to change the name of the show from the carnival of life to Buy the thing, raise the numbers. <laughs> Buy the thing, raise the numbers. <laughs> Every week we talk the same thing. Ask the people not, who watch the show. The, the truth is, stop, they, stop petitioning, stop talking the thing. Need, just go raise the we numbers. Don't need, we don't, we don't need no petition. We need people's <laughs> mindsets to change. You know, yeah. to understand the importance of us taking soca. You know where it is or, or, or what it is. You know, yeah. so you, you, you have to change people's perception as to what it is to, to actually go and buy. Okay, you'd buy a D Beyonce album, you'd buy a, a, a DJ Khaled. It ain't going out for free, you know. You would probably wait until you understand these things come up to pay money to yeah. get them. So if you support, you know, Silka, if you support the vibe, if you support the artist, any artist, any artist putting out a body of work, you know, and you have these artists, there's not supposed to be a reason why you can't. An album is $9.90. Sometimes I pay more money to cut my hair and my hair ball. You understand what I'm telling you? So, <laughs> so people, that we need to just change the mentality, you know, of, of getting people to support, you know, 
what we do. But so far, people have been, you know, buying and streaming and, 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 and you know, reposting and vibing with me. And, and I just, I'm, I'm grateful for the opportunity. So keep doing it. Um, if nobody has it yet, go check it out. Um, you can subscribe to my YouTube page, my YouTube channel as well. It's, it's there for you to see. And also, you can go to any streaming platform right now, the Terrace and John Project, and you're going to get yourself Caribbean Moscato. Bam. So that said, the goal of the show, and Denise, stay around because we're bringing you in now. I wanted to start the show, bring you in, talk about the project, and then you and I co-host the show and we interview Denise Belfont together. <laughs> anyway, right? But you know, Denise is finally here. Um, so I'm going to, let's run her reel. Um, introduce, I, I had to go digging on the internet. Uh, Denise, I had to go real looking and teething people video and all kind of things. So I hope I don't get in trouble for this. But I put together this reel. We're going to bring in so see wow and um keep the thing going steady so hold tight yeah man one sec Body right, all night long. Shine till morning long. Oh, no, no, now, no. why you rock me with a love your mind? Oh, no, I am not a rude girl. I really like to wine. See me on the pet show. I'm whining all the time. Yeah. Welcome to the show, Denise. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Thank Not you very fun. much. <laughs> Ole, and my good. Denise, how things, man? It's been, it's been a minute. For real, Dread. A it's big, long, a long, long minute. <laughs> hey, Denise, how are you? I'm good, Teddy. Good to see you. You look beautiful today, your birthday. Well, my birthday was November 23rd. And I celebrate my birthday from that day until the last day of Sagittarius. You're, you're right. You're right. You're yes. Right. And then the and then the great part is that the day that I was born, I'm actually on the cusp of Scorpio and Sagittarius. So the whole oh, month of the ending of October into November into December is mine. <laughs> oh no, take it and run. Yes. <laughs> so talking about numbers. Mm -hmm. I, I saw some numbers today. I, I, I in pulling together the reel, then I started revising the history, and a lot of questions has come to my mind. Um, while I remember, I'll just fire off some questions. It might just come off without any kind of, I guess, logical pattern. But right. the first thing is, I remember bicycle, bicycle wine, and that was around what year? Two thousand and what eight? About seven or eight. 2007, right. eight, I think. But yeah. then I'm watching these videos with you and, and um, Ghetto Flex back in that thing. That video was 89 in in New York. No, nine, 97. 97. 97 or 98. So we're talking about 10 years before, and they're talking yes. about doing the 10 speed bicycle. The invisible 10 speed, yes. So I came in on the bicycle wine era, but there was a 10 speed 10 years before. Yep. That was when it was born, actually. Um, the, the scenario surrounding the bicycle wine was one night performing in Spectacular Tent, because you know it used to be tent, tent long ago when, when you have a big tune in the tent, if you're not in the tent, you're not happening. So one night I was there and, and um, the crowd was very quiet. They was like not into the show at all with me and Ghetto and other artists that were, that were on before us. And I just say to myself, I say, well, let me do something to wake up this crowd, yes? On the spot. <laughs> I just came up with the idea. I say, all you want to see my ride, my invisible 10 speed. Well, when I said that, get a flex turn and watch me like, what are you going to do? It, that, because we used to read, we used to read one another facial expressions. We didn't have to talk. We just used to have to watch the eyes and the face, and that's it. I watch him like, 
I don't know, but when I do something. <laughs> wow. And I just started to envision how you would take a bike from wherever it is you have it park up, like wheel it on to wherever you take it, you climb on, you hold the handlebars, and you start a pedal. And that was it. And that was it. Yes. Then now, and um, when I did Bicycle Wine with Spontaneous from Grenada, he had this song called Bicycle Wine. And um, Neil Bernard was the person that said, you know, the best person to do this tune with is Denise Bell for me because she, she's the originator of the bicycle. The and then bicycle Spontaneous. Woman. Yeah, Spontaneous could have performed too. So it was a perfect, perfect, perfect union. Wow. Wow, yeah, so I, I just found, I just realized that connection. And TJ, I have you on mute, but whenever you're ready to talk, just unmute. So I just trying to kill the reverb between Denise and you. Yeah? Um, so we have that. And then, so then I'm watching, I'm listening now, because when the whole TikTok thing start now, this year or last year, would put you back in it. This year. This I'm year telling April. myself, I know this song. This is, this is work, right? Mm -hmm. So I went and I, when finally videos, and I saw work and... I thought work was yours, but work was a was a project you did with a group called is Masters DJ? at Work. Masters at Work. Masters at Work. Yeah. I had no idea about that either. So now I'm saying, okay, I'm like, what is this Masters at Work? Masters at Work. So Masters at Work was the original song called Work with you and the, these guys, and that was huge. And now a DJ remix it and call it Pay You Back in it. In Twenty one years after. 21 years after. 21 years after that went viral on TikTok and have 18 yes. million views or you suggest? No, 283 million. <laughs> 283 <laughs> million, exactly. Yep. This so, song, um, about a week or two ago, I got an email where I, I made the top 2,000 of the best on TikTok with Put You Back In It. I said this to somebody and they were like, 2,000? Okay. Um, that's 2,000 about 2,000 of everybody in the world. Think about that. Yeah. And I made it on the top 2,000 for the best quarantine wow. songs and videos and performances can, on can TikTok. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> Does TikTok send you like a trophy or anything? <laughs> a check? <laughs> yes, yes, they do. They do? They, they, they pay. Yeah, a lot of people say TikTok don't pay, but they don't know what they're saying. As, as, the, as the saying goes, you don't take talk. You do your investigations, yeah. and you get to the bottom of things, and you yeah. get your shit together. Excuse my language, but you get your stuff together. <laughs> wow. TikTok does pay. TikTok does take care of, of, of their, what should I say, influencers. Okay. I am one of them. What? So what do you, did this happen out of the blue for you where you just woke up in the morning and you, people saying, yo, Denise, you trended on TikTok? Or you saw it well, happening? Well, let me, no, let me say this to you. I, I did the video. I did the video um, for the challenge. First and foremost, a year ago when DJ Flex did the track, we spoke. I said, you know what would be real cool if you could really get my vocals to, to um, like do other remixes of this track and whatever and thing. And I did the vocals over. April of this year, when quarantine hit hard, when everybody, when everything gets shut down. Right. I was looking at how everything changed for everybody, how it was, you know, uh, it was a hurtful situation, but a lot of people losing their work. A lot of people dying. You can't even go and identify your family members. You can't mm -hmm. bury them. You can't do nothing but just stay in your house. Mm -hmm. And I reached out to my niece and I said to her, I say, babes, what do you think I should do to get people a little more jovial and happy again and you know not not being insensitive to what's going on in the world but True. just giving them some joy again she's auntie the trend and thing now is, is challenges take one of your songs and, and do a challenge so i was like okay what song you think she said auntie i don't know you have a whole barrage of tunes <laughs> you choose one How so i was like okay it just so happened that we match. 
who is my, my niece's friends, put up on their page right. a challenge. But the challenge is, if Denise Belfon was a dance instructor, or if you was Denise Belfon as a dance instructor, let me see, like that's what they said, let me see how you would approach it. So it had people doing the, um, the put your back in it, as me as the instructor and themselves as a dancer. So that brought excitement and brought a new life and real, real joy to, to, to people's hearts when, wow. when We Match did that. And I didn't even speak to We Match about it. It's just like it was in the, it was in the atmosphere. The universe just decided, hey, let's give this woman the break she deserves and bless her with this. God. God. Eh? Yeah. Thank you very much. I don't do nothing without thanking God and knowing that God is instrumental in everything that I do. Yeah. It, it, yeah, I totally agree. God first, um, everything else second. Yep. Totally. Yep. I, um, so this song totally. It, yeah, it, it was what I'm trying to figure out. Did it start with any Caribbean re region or how did it reach to be no, so? No, the Caribbean region didn't even take it on because the Caribbean region was fighting me down to talk and say, where's the big deal? Is that old tune she just bring back and what? And my words was, at the end of the day, it's not the Caribbean region that busts it. It's yeah. international. Will Smith did a video for it and all. Wow. The Double Dose Twins did a video for yeah. it. And the list goes on and yeah. on and on. Dossie? Yes? You made, a, you made a point which is very valid. Sometimes we get so caught up on, on the receiving of stuff from a certain... You have to realize the, the Caribbean is a tiny dot. In Correct. A, a, a in the world. In the world. <laughs> So sometimes, sometimes we, 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 and I sure you can attest to that. You go, you, you, there's been points in your life where, okay, because a song, eh, eh, make it through, you know, a season in, you know, uh, actually that season, that means it's, it's, it's done. And not it's over, exactly. You, exactly. Not realizing that you're depriving, you're depriving the world, you know, from hearing something that they've never heard. Before. Exactly. Then, exactly. Your point, your point is very, 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 very valid. I can attest to that, man. True. Yeah. <laughs> the, so, the, 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 the Caribbean now starting to, you know, send flames, thumbs up, hearts, put up the Trinidad flag, the St. Lucian flag, because as always both and say, I'm a proud Trini Lucian. My father and grandmother is <laughs> St. Lucian, right? I know that. And yeah, and that? that's why I went. That's why I went. My blue and my red and thing today. Hello. Teddy, did you know You're Denise right is from the beautiful island of St. Lucia? <laughs> right no, I'm from the island of Trinidad and Tobago. But my father and grandmother is St. Lucia, and I can't deny that part of my culture. Yeah. 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 I didn't know that. I went to sleep. I went to sleep tonight and woke up the next morning with 40 million views. We'd put you back in it. And then the following day, I saw 160, and I started thinking to myself, well, what's what going on here? Why, does, why do like, well, I pay, like I pay something to, to shoot up my numbers? <laughs> I, was, I, was in a, I was in total shock. And now it's over 283 million wow. worldwide. That's crazy. Well, congrats worldwide. on that. I, how, Denise, how do, we, yes. how do we stop as a Caribbean from doing that kind of fight down mentality, how do we? Are you around for you doing this thing for so long? It can't you stop. Get out of it. It can't. It would never. Our mind. It would never stop. You know why? We as Caribbean people, we don't like our own. Right. We prefer the name brand, and the and the and the people who not really are a part of where we come from. Yeah. To big them up and, and purchase their 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 um yeah. their albums and support them. Right. We it, it can't stop because can't. let me just say this to you. 
I could do a hundred positive things, right? And the one thing that you find negative, you go in and bring me down, stone me, bust my face. You're going and fight me to the end. Yeah. People who don't know me will talk things that they, they, they see on the internet and jump and run with it before they even find out what really took place. Why did this happen? Why yeah. is she in this situation? Is it that she just like Bacchanal? Or is it that she's defending herself? Is it that someone just tried to tarnish her reputation because they themselves are jealous for whatever reason and they know something personal about this individual so they're going to make the public hear and see to try to belittle this individual? It will never stop. Never stop. We fight down ourselves, number one. Yeah. Because when I do a song, I'm just saying... I, as in a general statement, I don't have much faith in my own song. I had to go to Tom, they can hurry to ask them, waiting about this, waiting about that, waiting about the other. You don't have faith in yourself, so how people going and believe you to have faith in you? Yeah, I agree. I, um, I just see, I've seen it throughout my whole career or lifetime where it's always the case of you're local, you can be doing good, you don't get the, the, the praise you deserve. You go away. Mm -hmm. You become something big. You get blessed by foreign, and then they're now recognizing you. Yeah. Uh, all in a sudden, I always knew. Be a foreign. Yeah. I always knew you could do it. I always yeah. knew it. And this, I was always in your corner. Yeah, you I was, was always there. in my I, corner. I gave you the idea. <laughs> you was really in my corner, or were you a part of my circle that helped me get where I needed to go? That is the question. In my corner, doing what bad talking, man? Or in my corner, just peeping on my Instagram and my Facebook and not making no comments at all? What I was really yeah. doing in my corner? Yeah. I Think about I, that. That is, real, that is real heights I just give already. <laughs> that is. And, but I, I firmly believe, just like how... People will say, when you grow up, you will be just, you hate your mom and dad, but you'll be just like your mom and dad. We always say that. Correct. You'll be just like them. Correct. But I told myself, no, I will not be like my mom and dad. I will grow up and I will treat my kids differently from how I was treated as a child. What I didn't like, I will fix that. And I have. Well, uh, if my parents didn't tell me I love you 10 times a day, I'm telling my kids 50 times a day I love them, right? And mm -hmm. I will eventually break the cycle, which my kids will understand and their kids wouldn't. So I believe if we slowly change our mentality today, yes, in 50 years or 100 years, those people will not understand what we went through, what we say, yo, we were bad mind people, boy. <laughs> people actually say Trinis and, and Caribbean people are the best. They have only love and positivity, which is what yeah. we really are. But Come see me and come live with me. It's two different things. Yeah. <laughs> see me during the day is one thing, but come and live with me tonight. You will really see the real me. <laughs> and that is the a truth. A lot of people see your glory, but they don't know your story. Thank you. And at the end of the day, I've reached a point in my life where I don't really even care if you want to know my story or not, because you're not genuine. That's how I look at people now. Right. Nobody is genuinely interested in your story. So if you wow. call me for an interview, I'll be very happy to do it. Yeah. Maybe people will learn things about me from this interview or not. But at the end of the day, I shared it with you because you wanted to know. Yeah. 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 Because I I've I've seen um I've seen you done zillions of interviews. I'm thinking, wait, I need to get Denise at some point before she just decides that she don't do any more interviews. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> I can read in my mind. Every other day I do an interview now. Um Yes. And so I was like, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me tap in because I'm, I, when I, I, you know, like I always want to find the positive, no matter what. And I, I, Trinity Jungle Juice, we always tell people from day no one, bad from you day say about one. That good, we are a good news network. If, if I'm from interviewing somebody one. who just shot someone, I won't even bring up the fact that I shot someone. I will talk right. about everything else that I did that was positive. Because <laughs> right. that's what we do. Correct. Right? Um, Correct. but that said, though, growing up, though, I always thought when I saw Denise Saucy or Belfony Wine and Queen, oh, by the way, I have a bone to pick with you because on this whole conversation of a joke we made on this other talk show I do, 
we were talking about how do you spell wine? Okay, it's W I N E. If well, you spell let me wine, tell you W-H-I-N-E something. W H I N E is Bacchanal. That's crying, no. When you say W H I N E, that is somebody who whiny and always crying. And <laughs> but whining is W I N I N G. That's the correct way to spell it. Right. But everybody does put the H because it's cool to right. put the H. It is look better when you're writing it or texting it. <laughs> But that wine is a whining person, crying, always yes. dumb, always sad, and that kind of thing. And yeah. me and Patch had a big debate about that the other day because we were putting up a, doing up a poster, a, um, a flyer for somebody, and we put the correct spelling, and they say, no, it's supposed to be W-H-I-N-E, or W-H-I-N-I-N-G. And we went into debate, pull up dictionary, do everything to show them, and they still say, we want W H I N I N G. <laughs> I and yeah, so we we went and we back we make a joke and we say it's W, it's no H, it's no H. Only people maybe from Guyana will say H, and we knock any Guyanese. Or again. Jamaicans. Not my Guyanese people. But I saw on your Instagram, I was like, Denise have the H and the Wine and Queen. Why didn't he spell the well, H? Well, I leave it there. I leave it there because that's what the people want. <laughs> you can see no people gonna the the H and the Wine and Queen put the H. They're gonna be like, it's H. Denise put the H. Yeah. It's like H. Well, I'll change it. You I'll see? change it. The Wine and Good Queen point. have that I'll right. fix it. <laughs> yeah. All right. So for me, you were always I called. I, I always said Denise is the. And I don't know if this is a comp. To me, is a compliment. I, but you tell me what you think. You are. My patra or lady so of soca. When I think lady okay. so, Denise Belfont is my is my lady so of soca music because she always she always gives me that little bit of raw sexiness, a little bit. Mm, some people might think it's extra, but to me, it's still not overboard. It's always like take some rawness, sexy, but not like obscene. Right, right. In your career, though, come from when you start till now, were you getting pushed for that, or were you getting again fight down? Was like. Man, there's a bunch of rudeness and she ain't no let me, let me tell you something. From day one, I got licks yeah. from the females, from the males, from everybody. Nobody didn't understand me. Nobody didn't like me because of what I brought to the stage. But Different. I didn't care. I continue being me. You could say what you want, do what you want. I will always be me. And at that one time that I touch a nerve and I said, you know, you know why all all have a problem with me? It's because I am what you really wish you were. <laughs> I just bring out the real you when you see me on stage. And when I say what I say in my yeah. songs, you really, really want to be like me out there. But you, you have to suppress it because you don't want nobody to look at you a certain way. And you're right. I get relics from a child, five, seven, nine, up, up till my, 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 my mother thought that she could have beat me until I was 36 years old. Teddy, parents won't so even let him watch a, a Denise Balfour show. <laughs> wow. Like, what is this woman doing? <laughs> wow. I See? was in church. I was in church. I was in church. Well, I grew up in the Roman Catholic Church. I grew up in the Shango Baptist faith, Muslim, um, Pentecostal, Anglican. Everybody from my family had a different religion. And I know of all the religions. What does that make me? What does that make me? Am I supposed to just conform to what everybody believes in and not be me, do me? I think a lot of people in this world who really want to be themselves, give themselves the pressure of thinking what society would think, we'll think. and they care yeah. live their life. Right. I Nobody do really. really. Yeah. It have a lot of people that don't like me too because I am politically not correct. I am <laughs> unorthodox. Right. I am somebody who will do something and do it because that's what my heart tell me to do. I felt the whim to do it and I did it. Yeah. So what are you going to do? Stop my from being me? Yeah. That would be unfair. Can't. Can't. What, this is a, I, you probably one of the perfect people to ask this question. And uh, I don't know if Teddy, let me just, oh, he's coming back on. Let me just pull him until he come back on. Um, what would Denise today what advice will you give 21-year-old Denise Belfon? Um, 
21 year old Denise Balfon was always Denise Balfon up to now. Yeah. I've always been rebellious. I've always been someone to stand for what I believe in. There's no way you can make me agree with anything that you want me to agree to, and I don't. I've always been the kind of hard worker, never believing and giving up. Um, take licks physically, verbally, spiritually, all of all the leads, <laughs> and still stood strong as the rock of Gibraltar. I am a Trojan. I call myself a Trojan. I call myself a Viking, Vi Queen, Vi whatever. I have that warrior blood in me. My ancestors is not jokey ancestors. My ancestors come from real Africa, Africa, Africa. If I show you my who my bloodline is, you will ball. My great grandmother was a maroon from wow. Jamaica, which is my mother's mother. Okay, so I know my thing. <laughs> Shadi, like you want to fire off a question? No, I, I, I just remember um, watching. Um, what, what I always loved about Denise is, is her, her realness, and, yeah. and you, you said, you said something. A lot of people are afraid to be, you know, themselves just because of what, you know people would, would think, I look at people like you, I look at people like Blacks, these are people that, you know, straight, like you, you, you basically say what you, you want, you say what you think, yes. and, and that is stuff that even um, me as an artist would probably look at and get more comfortable and confident in just being able to, you know, speak out and, and just have that connection, you know, with audiences everywhere, so, you know, I've been watching from, hey, you know, and here now and, and, and being here with you. So it's an honor. Love to be here. You know what I realized over time, over the years that I've been doing this? Um, mm -hmm. November made it 26 years that I've been in the business, right? And what I've noticed over time, even though there are people that will come to you and tell you, nobody don't really want to know your business. Nobody don't want to know that you, that you get licks from your man last night. Nobody don't want to know that, that, that you was on the corner making money on the side yesterday. However, nobody don't really want to know. But what I've noticed over time is that people like to know your pain. They really do like to know that you are human first before you're an artist or entertainer or whatever. Yeah. They, 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 they may say no, but when they go home and they really think back to what you were saying on an interview or on a show, they will connect and they will want to get to know you more by buying your music, by, by coming to your concerts, by doing every and anything that you set out to do as an individual, as an artist, or as an entertainer. I've been looking at... Um, this guy for the longest. I've been looking at a lot of his past and present shows. Um, what's his name again, boy? The short man, uh, the comedian. Oh, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. And Kevin Hart's fan base has grown over time because he comes with his life, his life stories and yeah. puts it as comedy. I see him start from a flicking place as small as my living room yeah. to now selling out arenas and stadiums. Stadium. He has made the world book of records for doing stuff like that. Because Kevin what? Insane. He's putting his life out there for people yeah. to hear. Yeah, and even when he got into the bubble with, the, with, his, with the affair, he even came out Correct. and made his public confession. Correct. Yes, you, you know what? Correct. Instead of y'all talking about it, I'll talk about it. <laughs> right. So let me pull it a hush now. Because I know I do wrong, I messed up. So you can talk after this, but I go in and address it now. And that, yeah. to me, People love that. The world loves when you can be you. Yeah. 
totally, totally. Mm -hmm. As I say I that too, and people knowing you, which is good. I know I was going to ask the question. I'm going to ask the question, you know, tell us something that no one knows about you. And I know for one, you are like a really excellent cook. <laughs> and that was about probably 10 <laughs> years ago. Like, yo, Denise Belfont could cook if you taste her hand. She, and you actually, I don't know if you're catering for a minute. Yes. In Trini. Yes. I've never tasted the food, but that's one thing. But if there's another thing that no one knows, or a lot of people don't know about Denise, what is that one thing besides you being an excellent cook and a great artist, soak artist? I, I can't keep a man. You can't keep a man. <laughs> No, I can't. Can't? You can't? No. No. I can't. <laughs> Let's have a word of prayer. Um, and I'm very serious. It's not a joke. Tell me what you say. No problem. But honestly, honestly speaking, I, no, I really can't keep a man. Um, right. I, I have this ideal about me where if I treat you good oh frozen hello denise you're frozen so i'm assuming your connection just stop for a second she freeze teddy this is like the cover shot one time uh -huh. i say we're taking the album cover one time yeah shot. yeah yeah you want <laughs> Denise. All right, we're waiting for Denise to come back in. So while she's, her line is somewhat stuck. But yeah, Teddy, this is like getting deep. Denise basically is saying we're going to understand once we get her back on. She's saying that one thing that people don't know about her is that she cannot keep a man. And we'll get it once being, you get back she, on, we'll understand. And a serious thing. She, she's being real and she's saying what she wants. This is to say. real, beyond real. Therapy, yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But she says that she, she, she made some good points in terms of people want to know um, the real you. People want to know you understand. Sometimes it is, I even blame us too because it's what we show. You know, social media yeah. is something. Social media a lot is of people what we show ain't real. <laughs> Everything on social media, they think that the best life ever and they're miserable as that's hell. That's right. And, it, and, it's, and it's wrong. And, and, and it, it's hard. So sometimes, you know, you go through these things where people literally don't know what you go through to get to where you have to go to. They don't know how you take care of it, but you make it seem like it's okay. You make it seem like it's glamorous. It's all well and good. Sometimes, you yeah. know, that's why probably they might not even support you as much as they want to support you in, in, in um, let's say, buying an album. You know why? Because they think you're already there. They think yeah. you're you, you catch what I'm saying? Yeah. So they watch you and they think you're already there and they think it, it doesn't matter, you know, it's not. So it's difficult. Mindsets of people are different. But I think if people see a process in what you um, what you go through, you understand they learn to appreciate. Like I right. say, they see, they see the glory, but they don't know the story behind the person. Yeah. And a lot of times, I mean, a part of that, part of that onus is on us to also show them the process up. Which is true. Because you know, we have to come out now, and which is what Denise is doing or has done, is say, hey, listen, you know, I'm, a, I'm human. And, oh, this, if I'm working on this project, the mus Caribbean Moscato didn't just come out overnight. It was nah. a year plus of, of, of work, research, yes. discussion, conversations, planning, and execution. You, you and know, if people just think it came out overnight, they'll be like, ah, oh, Teddy, and they put no effort into that. Listen, right? You know when you know when we put out the album, when we, when we were going to put out everything, we thought... It was ready and it wasn't, and we had to record the entire thing again. Yeah, see, welcome back, Denise. Don't know. Thank you so much. People in the chat now start to say, Well, look at the conversation getting real heated. And that's salty. what has always happened. That's what has happened when it's yeah. real thing. When it's real thing, it is real fire. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I am. Um, I can't keep a man. Um, I have a lot of insecurities from past relationships and it's like in my mind no matter what I do men can't understand where I'm coming from it, 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 it ends up being like um, I become a nag 
Mm. I become too much. I I I I I become like asking too much. Uh, I want too much from them, and and my mind is like, how could it be too much when we together? Yeah. So my my philosophy now is, you are not the right man. Right. You are not really the man for me. But my thing is, Denise, if you if you telling yourself after years of experience in relationships that you cannot keep a man, then mm-hmm. I think at this point you already put a mental block that you will never enter that soul mate feeling again of hey, this will be the one. No, not really. I just being honest with myself and with the people who want to know is with something they don't know about me. Yeah, it's not a mental block on my part. Right. I will always welcome welcome a partner because I'm a free spirit. Right. So you see, and I love you're able to keep a man, but you're still hoping that one day you will get the man as you will Correct. keep. Correct. Correct. Because at the end of the day, everybody that's sent into your life, you will really love for them to be that person yeah. for you. But it's not really that don't ever really be the person for you. Everybody passed through your life for a season, you know. Yeah. And everybody so passed through your life to teach you a lesson. Right. Yeah. Sometimes you'll be, be you'll be doing something over and over and over again, but in a different way with different people. And that is the lesson that we don't ever learn because we are accustomed to a certain way. And what we are accustomed knowing and doing, we will invite it and will continue, you know, making the mistakes. Yeah. That's that's how I that's how I sum it up. Hmm. But as Sorry. the truth. I have you unmute there. Brooks. Yeah. Yeah. Teddy? Teddy looking like you're feeling sorry for me. <laughs> no, I... I no, love, love, I can, I can understand, I can understand um, sometimes you, you, the, the different experiences that you go through in, in the past can really you know, it can really have an, an, an effect on on you in the yes. future. And sometimes, and hear that, and hear that, sometimes you you would probably make somebody that really... Um, Love you or want to be with you. That is, that, that is the right person you, and you push them away. And you push them away. So, yes. so sometimes you, you, you make that person pay for the mistakes of you know what other people you know but did. but let but let me just say this to you now what would trigger the insecurities would be when you see things that are very familiar ah okay i get you I get when you. i ask you when i ask you now a woman is like this now right a woman only asks her man certain things because she already know the answer but she want the man to tell the truth so if i come to you and i say teddy were you with that that young lady that you're speaking to there? Because we already have the because intuition you know. to know. We don't feel it already and we got. We watch the girl, how she watch me, how the body language is, how yours is, uh, everything, everything. Now it have some that could be very just just really paranoid. But I thank God for the gift of discernment. And I have it real strong. I don't ever ignore it. And you will turn to me and tell me, no, every woman I talked to would have to be that I was with them. And I'll leave it alone. But another conversation comes up. And you happen to slip and say, you was with the same person I asked you about a week, a day, a month ago. How do you think I'm going to start looking at you? Hmm? I get you. I get you. You lied. That's the first red flag. So now, I learned this now. You get a red flag, walk away. It's not forgiving. It's not done. Because every time, every time something comes up, there's going to be another red flag and another red flag. And all the flags and them going to start flying. And you don't need that. So walk away. Easier said than done. But that's my thing now. It could be the smallest thing, trust me. It makes sense to walk away yeah. because the smallest things end up being the biggest. And then when that happens, 
all hell break loose. And then sometimes it's too See, late. I love a good relationship See. conversation because then I agree. I think when it comes to men and women, especially women or both, you must know in your mind what you want. If you know you do not want to walk away from a relationship, then I will tell a woman, stop playing FBI. Correct. Don't go and play FBI. No, Find I, and, and, and more already going to be true to then stay. What going, on be, what going on bring on the FBI behavior? Is that first lie? Eh? If yeah. I, when I stay, because I yeah, stayed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But every so often, something popping up now. Um, you have a pattern about you. And men are so... They, and I don't want to say stupid and thing, eh, because that's a this. Men don't Say understand that when their patterns change, their women know. Yeah. We know you. We know you. You have a certain time for everything. You just do this a certain way all the time, every day, yeah. every night. But all of a sudden, something switch up. But you know about switching up. Yeah. You have a routine and a pattern all the time. So if you like, notice that. Okay. So well, the, well, investigator Belfour, go in and kick in now. Right. The, so my, my yeah. thing is this, if you're going to, if you, the, you made the right statement, when you have to walk away, walk away as soon as you risk, reach the point of, bam, I ask a question, you give me the wrong answer, I move in. Yes. Perfect. Keep it moving. So listen, if you know you don't want to move, Denise, then don't go and ask that question. That's my correct. Thing. Correct. If you know in your so mind, I am moving. I stay with Teddy for the rest of my life. Stop asking any questions. Just let Teddy Correct. do Teddy. And I and I agree with so, that too. So let's yeah, Teddy. Listen, have you ever been? Have you ever been? Have you have you ever been wrong about a, a situation or where? Um, okay, I, you said you have uh, your your discernment is very strong. So yes. have you is have there ever been a time where you actually you know wrong about what it it was? Yes, I was wrong at the time, but weeks uh, after or months after, it was correct. Ah, <laughs> shit. Okay. Yeah, that's it's, like, it's, like it's like I felt. It's like I I felt you, knows. Teddy. I felt you was with the next woman tonight, but it really yeah. wasn't with her tonight. It was with her last night. You oh, understand? So it's, been, so it's never been. It's only been wrong in terms of the timing. The, the Correct. Time that, but it's Correct. been right. Correct. Shit. And when you're in tune, when you're in tune with your, your 5D, not the 3D, the 3D is what we live every day. When you're in tune with your higher self, them things will be natural. It's we as human beings like to ignore it because we like the sex or we like the little this or we like the little that and the other, and we're ignoring it because we're more on lust and not the love. And we end up in the khaki pants, as my grandmother and I used to say, because you don't, want to, you don't want to take heed and understand, hey, time for you to move. I get you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 here's, a, here's Mars, another thing. Venus. Here's another thing, right? Um, why do some people believe that your exes are a huge part of your present? It have a reason why there's the past. It have a reason why they are exes. Why are they still able to call you, come to you, do like like you know the relationship still going on? I don't have a problem with being you know cordial with with exes. I don't have a problem with that. But why is it like is a is a staple? Yeah, because it's a be. daily staple. Because that connection was never never really broken. It's, it's what correct, over you. correct. You never really, your mental. Never you never really left, left the person. You, no. never, you never left them. You never really left. So that's why, and, 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 and another thing too, when that person, if that person knows that they have that grip on you and they know they have that inside there, your ass ain't going Thank to you. Stay. Thank you. Thank so you very much. So whenever that person call you, get up. Whenever they, that person just have something, you know, because they just implant that in you, that in, in, you know. Yes. And you, you just, 
It's what you allow. That is the energy. That is energies. That is energies. You know, it have a saying, don't sleep around with this one, that one, the other one, because you're bringing their energy into your energy, and it might not yeah. be positive. That is a very, yeah. very strong, powerful statement. It's true. The demons that come you. and live with you. Loud and clear. I get you. I get you loud and clear. Crazy. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, Denise, I was not expecting to go so right wing in this conversation. <laughs> that's how it is with me. Once you're, once you're with me, that's how it is go. We all, we all say we go in the grocery and we go and buy the groceries and end up in a fet. That's what is going with me. Denise, they get, they get therapy today. They got therapy today. <laughs> I need, and honestly speaking, I am. I need therapy also. I believe that I need some counseling for myself too, because um, as we said just now, I don't want that if the right person comes along, yeah, I really push them away to the point where I really lost that individual. Right, but then again, but then again, if I, I lose them, I guess that's how it was supposed to be. Everything that we experience on a daily basis is written already, eh? It's already ordained. It's yeah. we just try to fight it <laughs> and try to put things in a gear and go by over a man and over a, over a woman and all kind of things to try to keep things going. We as human beings. But what is to be will be. Yeah. What is not will not. I am, I am the total Mr. Easygoing, never fight it. I don't fight nothing. <laughs> and that, that's actually probably one of my, it might be a, 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 a flaw, maybe, because in some relationships we should fight. I will just, eh, it yeah. wasn't meant to be. It was a good run. That, 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 is, that is what the problem was with my last relationship. I should say my last two relationships. They didn't see the, 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 the need to fight for our relationship. And I can't fight alone. Right. You're right. Mm. Nah. You're right. Say, yes, this conversation is very deep. <laughs> <laughs> so, outside, like to swing right back in 360, though. I mean, I, I normally try to wrap this thing up in an hour. We are hitting almost an hour and 24. All right. Um, what, 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 do you, what is Denise Belfort working on? Or what's, what can we look forward to? Are you, I mean, I know you it's 20, how many years are you in your business now? 26. 26. And you have new music that you just released? Yes, and I have new music coming also. So tell us more. Um, this is the part where we talk about new projects that we could expect and look for and, and stuff that now happen that people have to support. Okay, from, from January 2021 to December 2021, God spare my lives. I will be on a very extensive European, Asian, and African tour. I, I, I posted I posted the first few months of the tour on my Instagram page. Right. And I didn't put the dates because at the end of the day, everything is still being taken care of. But all of those cities, I will be at them some point of time <laughs> every month from January to December. In January. And, yes. and this is when the new normal, right? The new normal, yeah. 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 So you're not, you're not, you have you gotten on a plane or travel around since the whole pandemic? Not yet. But I will I, be for my birthday bash on the 18th of December in Atlanta. Right. Atlanta is not a new COVID free mecca. Yes. <laughs> Atlanta does parties and fets every, every yes. day of the week. And, and, and letting everybody know because I've met some people over the weekend and they said to me, So see, your party cancel on the 6th in New York? No, 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 no. No, no, no. My birthday party is the 6th of December here in Brooklyn, New York. It's still on. We're still pumping. We're doing the right thing. You have to have your COVID test presented to me at the door. Well, whoever is going to be at the door for me, you're getting, you're getting your um, temperature test. Right. You have to have a mask and we're going to party and have a good time safely. Nice. Nice, and then you're gonna be the 18th of December is in Granans, Granans in Atlanta. That's where the event is going to be. Bam, 
So events coming up. One December 6th, New York. Then we go in down to Atlanta. On the 18th. On the 18th of December. Yes. Um, and then I have... Track, more music yeah. coming. Yes. I have a song. I have a song coming out called Wanty, which was produced by Patch Madigan Productions. Um, the song was written by myself and Fojo. Um, so I have a Patch. song with Patch. It's called Ignite. He has some great, great, great stuff coming out too. That is a part, that is my camp, Madagain Productions. Okay. Um, I work closely with KG, Jack, um, Michael. Well, I've never spoken to Michael, but through Patch, everybody is a team. Everybody is one, you know? And we're doing good things. Nice. Doing great things to come. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Uh, Teddy, um, now that you released your project last week, there's more stuff in the works coming or you, you, you're kind of settling down for the Christmas? Did we get Teddy? Teddy muted. Now? He muted and yeah, and yeah. You hearing me? Yes, yeah. we're hearing you now. You hearing me? Yeah, we're hearing you. Yeah, um, there's no settling down. There's no settling down really. Um, I have been honestly more focusing on putting out bodies of work yes you understand like more more uh, more bodies of, of, of yeah. work albums and and just to be able to be in a position that we can probably change people's mindsets about you know what we do and supporting what we do and and and, and this is this is our this is our job this is our we we live a we don't have a nine to five. We have a twenty four seven, because I'm sure when um, Denise you know finished shows, you know she has to go back in studio and make sure she has products that you know she can actually go yes. out and do. So our yes. job, our job never stops, you know. So for me, it's just making sure that we we package properly. Um, Caribbean Moscato was just me wanting to have a different conversation, you know. Um, with the, the, the audience and just open up the music, you know, a little bit. But um, it's another album coming, you know, sometime in end of February or first week in March. You understand? Okay. And that's what we've been... So I've been working, juggling both Caribbean Moscato and the new album, you know. Both albums wow. are new, but, you know, the Soka album, you understand? So um, it's just wanting to do that and just give people more music and more vibes and try to bring you know, more positive vibes and energies, you know, and, and, and people can people can probably take from us and you know we we, we um Denise um um Jay was telling me like before like when, when you realize sometimes what your music does to somebody, the positive thoughts that somebody can give you about you know your stuff, what it does. So we love the feedback from the audience. We love the feedback when you write yes. on any of the songs. We love when it be negative or positive, we're gonna take it. You understand and use it to our advantage or to make yes. it better. Right. At the end of the day, we human, just like Dini said, we, we are human, we have feelings. Not every day we, we feel positive. There are days we feel like shit. There are days we feel like giving up. There are days like today, like today, today, today for me, today for me is one of those days. I don't feel I don't feel good today. I don't yeah. feel happy today. Well, you look beautiful. Thank you, you very look much. You look beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. But you still have to you, you still have to push. And be you and continue, continue living, you know? Don't give up. Yeah, you, you still have to. And, yeah. and and that's what we do. We just there to be able to give, you know, give be able to touch lives through what we do, which is music and entertainment. So that's what I'm going to be, you know, play my part doing. Wicked. Good. Um, man, thank you so much, guys. Both of you. To answer, I can answer to I can answer. And anytime I call you, you're always there for me. Um, Denise, I thought for a second that you weren't coming on. I was like, nah, never, I would never do that. that. And never. I figured, I figured, I said, Denise might be having a rough day. She probably went out last night or something. And but thank you so much for, for making it. Like, it thank you and thank you for having me. Can I answer two of my fans that that asked a question? Yeah, yeah. One is asking, when am I going to do a concert? Um, that is up to the new normal, how we could get this concert done. If we'll have to go to the, to the extreme and do an actual 
virtual concert. People pay to see the performance of that type of thing. I don't have a problem doing that. And then the other person said that they like my new song for 2021 called Hush. Thank you very, very much. That was done by Jason Bishop and Jason Lee. And the vocals, I don't know, is yours truly. Um, that song is a song where I say, if you're not talking about me, you need to hush. Talk about me. Because in the song it says, people who are trying to bring me down, talk about me, wherever it is. TikTok, just take a picture and I and I right now I am doing well from TikTok. So <laughs> keep talking. <laughs> TikTok famous. Yep. <laughs> I love it. And I'm proud. Tennyson, I love you. Thank you for being the beautiful soul that you are and great talent. Thank you. And Jay, I thank, thank you. you so much for being you from day one to now. You've always been the same way. The same okay. way. And I know Welcome. him from when he was just starting. Just starting Trini Jungle Juice. Yeah. Day one. Yeah. Foundation. Yeah. I love it. Thank you <laughs> for being strong. And for being strong for a lot of women right now that can take, that can take you know, an example from your words. So thank you for your strength. Because your strength is, is, is healing, is being healing for a lot of people. That's on Thank the side that, that didn't come to expect something, but they got something real. You understand what I mean? So, yes. I appreciate you for being real and being one of the realest out there. Thank you very much. And to my, and to my darling, DJ Princess Chow, I love you. To everybody that's locked on right now, thank you so much for your love and support over the years. And I hope that you continue to support me. Don't forget to get your tickets at Eventbrite and my bio on, on IG for the birthday bash on December the 6th and in Atlanta, December the 18th. I love you guys. Boom. So on, a, on that note, I think it'll be perfect, Teddy. We're going to end with, um, with Vent um, from your let me, Caribbean let me, Moscato. Uh, let people talk. Let me, let, me just, um, let me just thank everybody for um, supporting me and allowing me to do what I do. Um, allowing me to be me, allowing me to be that kind of, you know, person, you know, that's just me. Um, yes. We have an amazing project out. I really want you to go support it. Um, we would love that you support it. it it's Caribbean Moscato Fully Acoustic Album. You can follow me on Instagram at Tedison John, um, my band at um, TJ Project Official and um this is one of the real songs that we love the version, you know, that we actually did for the concert. So, ladies and gentlemen, vent. Do good, people gonna talk. Don't do good, people gonna talk. So what to do? What are you gonna do? Can I ask you? Hey, yeah. All right, all right. Can I say what I want to say? I want to say what I want to say See you Can I say what I want to say I want to say what I want to say Oh, people don't know you But they want to judge you They talking about you must be something about you Smiling on her face Talking you bad Making up things Far from the facts While you're talking and talking and talking about me I'll be pressing on, pressing on Doing my thing I'm telling you, please Don't judge me God don't put you to watch me He don't like ugly So tell them keep their eyes off me Oh yeah I know they know they're gonna sing along Oh they Oh Keep on talking your cap Got 
Tedison John, Caribbean Moscato. That was his debut of his new acoustic album that launched last Sunday. Make sure and check it out on his YouTube channel. And of course, the album is available in all platforms, iTunes, um, what is it? Spotify, all music platforms, all streaming platforms, so you could buy it, purchase it, support the artist. Of course, Denise Belfort, thank you very much. It was a pleasure seeing you. And you, man, keep your head up. I know I don't need to tell you that. You're strong and keep being strong for the positive women out there um, doing their thing. On that note, we know that the message is simple. People are going to talk, whether you do good or bad. But people, if you're going to talk, there's things you could say, but words, you can't take it back. It could hurt. So if you're going to say something, say something good. If you have something bad to say, don't say something bad. Say something in a constructive way. It's called constructive criticism. So if you have something that you want to say that's not positive, say it in a way that it becomes positive. That's the message. It's simple. You don't need to be nasty. You don't need to be bad mind. Until next week, Sunday, it was a crazy, interesting show, as usual. And I appreciate each and every one of you for joining in. Uh, until next week, peace, love, and Jungle Juice Nis! Yes.